I first watched it on TV in Perth as a kid and I think it was a, a cup final in Heidelberg, won the cup final 4-0 and it was a guy called Gary Cole, scored a few goals and I just thought to myself, I'd love to go play in the NSL and I played locally and uh, luckily for me a coach from WA moved to South Australia. He took me over there, played in the State League and I went and played for West Adelaide Hellas at the start. Loved every minute of it, it was fantastic. In my first season, um, I was on the bench, but uh, we played the uh, Melbourne Knights in the grand final at Olympic Park, you know, and then one side was Melbourne Knights and the other side was Adelaide City and when we scored that goal, the whole stadium erupted. And, but apart from that moment, they were very vocal and, and that sort of introduced me to, to the passion that, that the supporters had for those clubs, you know. Yeah, so as a young kid, you're just like, oh yeah, you want, you want to be here, you know. So then having that opportunity to play NSL and, uh, and play for you know, five, six years, uh, it actually made me who, who, part me who I am. Without that competition, I wouldn't be here uh, in, in this form or even a, a career that I had. And I think there was a number of players through that, uh, you know, you talk about the golden generation who had that opportunity to play NSL. And it was a very good competition. And, you know, just to think that it was semi-professional. You know, we all had jobs, a lot of people had jobs. So, you know, we weren't full-time as it was, as it is now. Well, look, we, obviously we had to work, you know, during the day, but it was still all it was about the football. The crowds were fantastic. I mean, Highmarsh, Adelaide City, play West Adelaide, it was full house. Um, but everything still revolved around football. And it, I think the number one thing those in, the, in those days of the NSL was to try and get in the Australian squad. It wasn't so much about going overseas. It was pretty, pretty rare, I suppose. So trying to play well in the, in the NSL, do well and try and get in the, in the, into the Australian team was a big thing. Um, I played at one time for Preston, Macedonia, and we had a guy called Zarko Odzikov. And to me, he was just a complete footballer. Big, strong, could run, could score, could head, everything. So there was just some good players around. I mean, Johnny Cosmina, you know, he was just a, a real handful to play against. A great lad off the park, absolute animal on the park. but. Um, he was another guy that just uh, everybody wanted to do well against. So we had, we had some good players there. Murray Barnes, Sydney City at the time were just fantastic. And then uh, obviously in my era, Graham Arnolds, Frank Farinas, all those guys. So uh, I was lucky enough to have been involved with them. If, if you consider we were part-timers playing against on the world stage and when we went to the Olympics, it was full age, not under 23s. Uh, I, I just think it was a great stepping stone. And the fact that someone or some clubs had the foresight to create a national league in 1977 or whenever it was, um, just to me blows me away. I think it was the first National League of any sort. And it's just a pity that really the media of the day, I don't know why they didn't get beyond it, it was a fear factor from other sports or whatever, but um, it's just good now that the A-League has taken that platform and just really gone up and I, I can only see it going bigger and bigger and bigger.